Hello and welcome back to the Gallant Goblin. I'm Grady Wong and today we're looking at another box of Spelljammer ship skill minis, Threats from the Cosmos. This is a fixed set box of four pre-painted minis from WizKids and thank you to WizKids for sending it to us to review. You can see our overview of the ship skill minis in our review of the first Welcome to Wild Space box in the eye in the corner of the screen. But before we get started, don't miss out on the free beta of the new Shift RPG from our sponsor Hitpoint Press. It's a rules light system with just enough structure to keep things on track, with lots of leeway to tell your own story using either the setting they provide for you in the beta, or an original one of your own. At the core of the system is the dice shifting mechanic. You create traits for your characters which offer special abilities that you can perform, and each trait gets assigned a die from a d4 up to a d12. A roll of one, two, or three constitutes a success when you use that trait using any of the dice, so you have a much greater chance of success on d4 than on a d12. As you play, things that happen in the game or rolling a crit causes your dice to shift up or down, which then alters your chances of success going forward. So if you roll a critical failure of four on a d4, your d4 becomes a d6. But if you roll a one on a d6, that's a critical success, and the d6 turns back into a d4. It's an easy to understand system that has a lot of complexity once you dive into it and really ramps up the tension with each die roll. So download the free PDF and try out Shift RPG today at hitpointpress.com shift. We'll start things off with what might be the main attraction of the set, the Tyrant Ship. This is the signature ship for Beholders. They're carved out of stone by Beholder eye rays, and no two ships are supposed to look the same, though they all have the eye stalk shapes that creatures associate with Beholders. You're not likely to need two of the ships in the same battle encounter, though, because Beholders are paranoid and don't work together, preferring to destroy each other as rivals instead. Then we have a weird one, the Cosmic Horror. Cosmic Horrors are not ships, though I suppose maybe you could use them as one if you're feeling really adventurous. They are instead nightmarish Lovecraftian creatures from the Far Realms, and described as a, quote, seemingly impossible conglomeration of eyes, mouths, wings, tentacles, and less recognizable organs and appendages, end quote. So this figure definitely fits the bill, even if it doesn't look like the art in the book. Cosmic Horrors have a CR of 18. Next is the Swarm of Murder Comets. We got a single Murder Comet in the Spelljammer Booster set. This mini is substantially larger, but you could basically use it instead of the Booster Set Comet, especially since there is no specific stat block for a swarm of them. Murder Comets are created by evil spellcasters who combine earth and fire elementals. The creator can then bind their own spirit to the comet, becoming immortal. Murder Comets have a CR of 5. Finally, we have the Ancient Red Dragon, sized to fit on a large base and therefore reusable as a young red dragon in regular play. There's not a lot to say about red dragons that hasn't been covered in previous videos. We do have a regular scale Ancient Red Dragon in the form of Belagos, available as a mini from WizKids, and you can see our review of that one in the eye in the corner of the screen. Suffice it to say, you don't really want to run into a red dragon while adventuring in the Astral Sea. Ancient Red Dragons have a CR of 24. There is no assembly required for these four minis. They all arrive as one piece that you can use straight out of the box. Overall, I think this is another decent set. All of the minis are reusable in regular gameplay, though you may need to invent a new stat block for the Tyrant Ship or the Cosmic Horror if you're using them more as large sized creatures. Both are believable as creatures you might find in a Beholder or even Mind Flayer lair. In fact, I think the redesign for the Cosmic Horror is pretty cool because the design could double as a different type of Mind Flayer or Beholder ship too. And you could also use them as a mini cosmic horror if you so choose. There's no reason the Far Realm can't spawn smaller aberrations in addition to gargantuan hundred feet long ones. You can always find more use for dragons, especially one as popular and ubiquitous as the Red. The Threats from the Cosmos box set is available now and has a manufacturer suggested retail price of $59.99 US dollars, though you can shop around for sales. We're covering all the ship skill mini boxes of which there are six total, 
so be sure to hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already, and the bell icon to be notified as soon as the videos come out. We also have various playlists of all of our mini reviews, official D&D accessory reviews, and more. Thank you for watching today. If this video was helpful to you, hit that thumbs up button, and don't forget to check out our sponsor, Hitpoint Press's free PDF of their newest RPG, Shift, which was one of the most fun I've ever had in a single tabletop gaming session. You can also join our Discord using the link in the video description, as well as find us on Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, love each other, and we'll see you next time at the Gallant Goblin. <laughs>